people just. <laughs> Welcome to the weasel, welcome to the weasel, whip out your dicks and shove them in your ass. Welcome to the weasel with Mike and and Jonah. Well, I was going to hit record earlier, but I was like, well, to be honest, I just completely forgot. Mmm. The dangers of cigarettes. Mm. Cigarettes will get you every time. Yeah, Make you yeah. We just stupid. We decided that on this episode we were gonna break our rule from the old days, and um, you know, I'll speak for myself. Um, since it's legal here in Colorado, um, yeah. So in the old days, we we get really drunk and get really high. And then do the podcast, which at some point we learned, maybe do that during the podcast, as that way mm. it's more like cohesive, the flow's better. Um, and then, you know, save being really fucked up for the Broach episodes. Um, but we totally flipped that on its head this week, buddy. We just decided mm. to go whole hog. Get a little fucked up before the podcast. Make it's podcast been, better. It's been one of those weeks for both of us. Um, obviously, as everybody knows, I would never, ever, never have, never will touch the devil's lettuce. It's just not something that no, is sir. a part of my being. And this is true. Um, but you know, cigarettes, though, on the other hand. Mm. Something about the the flow of nicotine touched by a Turkish man's hands just blast me to, you know, somewhere else. And that currently is eating toast and drinking coffee with tequila in it and talking to my good friend, you. Oh, good. Me. Um, I was concerned who you'd say. Yeah, toast is probably not your best food for a podcast, but... You know, it's gone now. There's no worries. It's it's gone now. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No stress. No stress. No. No, no dramas, dude. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like you said. Um, I feel like this week just has been. Um, I've just been really focused on work. Like I'm in a new role. Um, you know, I'm trying to do well at it. I'm trying to. Um, you know, to like please people around me too. Um, cause we all, we all just want to be loved and recognized. It's true. Yeah. And that's something that I've been working pretty hard at, at work. Um, this, this, this bit since I got, I, I got a little baby promotion. I got a new role. So I'm, I've been trying really hard, but in that I've, I feel like I've been neglecting, some of my personal life mm. as in like, I'm not, uh, I'm not meditating, you know, maybe I'm not taking that extra moment to um, like play with the cats. Maybe I'm not like really sitting down and giving Janie my full undivided attention uh, for the length of time that it deserves. Um, so what is, I, um, <clears throat> what is the like, uh, Sorry to cut you off. Dude. You're good. Um, what is like the what does that gratification look like to you when you find um, you know you just want to be loved and noticed at work? What like in regards to your your work relationships? What does that look like? Say again. So like, what does that gratification look like when you are achieving you know? the being noticed and being loved and all that stuff. I th but what does that look like in work? I think people just like you. People want to spend time with you. They invite you to the, you know, the, the like the after work things, you know, there's potential to develop, you know, deeper relationships. Um, but I think all of us ultimately just want people to like us. Mm -hmm. Like there's definitely those people that are like, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. 
about me, you know, like I'm fucked them, you know, da 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 da. I don't I don't need their approval. And in a lot of ways, like I've been that guy before too. I've probably been that guy this week a few times. Mm. Um, but I think at the end of the day, ultimately, like we're all we're all still pretty desperate for like people to to like us. Mm. It's almost inherent in our very being to want to be part of a tribe. Yeah, yeah, and and I've I've heard that argument that it dates back to being in tribes because if people didn't like you when you lived in a tribe, if enough people didn't like you, uh, you were you no longer part of that tribe <laughs> in yeah. one yeah, form or another. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn! Sorry, I'm yeah. realizing how Can you loud this, being... my ice is in this cup. <laughs> sorry, it's all right, dude. It's no louder than my toast. Um. <laughs> <laughs> sorry not the best not the best food to have um on a podcast i know um yeah can you imagine what it must have been like to just be that dude that was born with like a i don't know like a chuff eye like you just chuff. eyes don't point in the right direct yeah chuffed eye oh um. you know like they just don't point in the same like they point out you know, and nobody in the tribe understands like, you know, retinal issues and eye disorders or anything like that. It's like that dude's got a chuffed eye. He's useless hunting. He always picks the wrong berries or maybe he runs into shit all the time. There, or maybe he's point, dude. And he's fucking he's like a flounder. Like he sees <laughs> like, everything's peripherals, you know, so he sees really well. well that dude, then, if he can't make it as any of the, like, a hunter or a gatherer or anything like that, you know what happens to that guy is he becomes the shaman of the tribe. Oh. Yeah. And if you don't, if you don't have, like, shamanic abilities, then I guess you just get kicked out. Mm. I think that was a really bad example. People people with eye things are still liked. But I don't say... know, dude. I mean, back then, like, if they thought you couldn't see, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I can see it being a problem, but if you have a bit of a personality, I think you're all right. You know, I think if you, if, if you, if you make the chief laugh, if you, if you give him a good giggle every now and then, he's going to keep you around <laughs> because people, because people like you, but if people don't like mm. you, yeah, if you were just, yeah. even, even if both your eyes see you really good, you're the you're, you're the best you're the best seer we got, but you're a jerk uh, to people. Yeah, you know, you're always you're always enough. making them feel bad about this or that. You're talking down to people. You know, mm-hmm. you're you're making making like uncomfortable jokes around women. Like nobody, mm-hmm. nobody likes you. You don't you don't like those guys very much. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very hard to like those guys. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what I'm saying is. In the tribe, it's a problem. Yeah. If people, if people don't, if a large enough group of people don't like you, but nowadays people cannot like you and you're going to live, that's fine. But you're not going to have a very good life. No, no, it's different. And it's different from, it's more isolationist than mm. it is like physical danger. Yeah. You know, being separated from the group, just straight up or flat out ignored when you're around the group. Like, Feeling alone, even though you're surrounded by people. Fuck, what a weird thing. Yeah, and, and, and even like the podcast too. It's like it's like obviously you got to have a bit of like I don't give a fuck what the listeners think about the podcast. We're doing the podcast the way that we want to do the podcast, mm. but we do ultimately because like we want because like we want people to like it. We want people to like us, um, yeah. and you know enjoy the podcast and it grow and more and more people get it, like it and like us and give us mm. money for it some give us money for it yeah that'd be great um we don't want to do ads guys we don't want to put ads on the podcast well i don't want to put ads on the podcast i'll put ads in the podcast so fucking fast john will do it straight up dude <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't mind if we were like able to do like record our own ads for it that'd oh yeah fun. Like like we get sponsored yeah. by somebody, yeah, something small, something that's willing to sponsor a tiny startup podcast. Well, especially discussing the kind of stuff that we talk about. 
Mm. I reckon Blue Chew would sponsor us. Yeah, let's reach out to Blue Chew and see if they'll sponsor us. <laughs> they might, sponsor dude. All sorts of people. Who knows, man? They that. might. They're like, yeah, we'll give you, I don't know, 10 bucks a year if you give us an ad. And I'll be like, yeah. What if it were 10 bucks an episode, though? That'd be pretty good. It would be pretty good. We'd be talking a lot about boner gum. We'd be doing a lot more but podcasts. I feel like we're doing that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> we we started this podcast around Cock Talk, and we'll finish this podcast around Cock Talk. By God. Yeah. And everything in between, it's just part of the cock. The, the, that's something I, I was thinking about whenever we were... Uh, right before this, we decided to take a shower together, wash off the day. But I feel mm. like I feel, there's very few friends that shower together. Yeah, and and yeah. I, I, I mean, how I don't know many. I'm like I'm saying, I don't like, have any other friends that I I shower with except Kirley, you know. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I mean, I mean, like I've I've showered with a lot of dudes in my life. Mm. Um, but pretty most of it was reserved for toward the Marine Corps. I remember, I remember this yeah. one time in um Korea, we were like the only ones on this base, and and they had this big shower room with like just heads go lining down both sides. And, uh, we would go into it. it, it there'd be probably like three or four of us dudes. And like, we just turn them all on, on every side. And then like turn them all toward like one focal point in the middle of like four shower heads. And then that's Whoa. how we dude. It was the best. I missed that, that shower. Awesome. But, but also, you know, like it wouldn't have been the same if I didn't have my bros very nearby. No. Also scrubbing no, you, their assholes and you know, their dongs are out. You gotta share a shower like that with friends for yeah. sure. That'd be that'd be just sad. Yeah. Doing that shower by yourself. Like, oh, look at all the Oh, there's no That's here. like oh. that's like when you make oh. it to the top, dude, you know? Like it's lonely at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can finally afford a shower with fifteen shower heads. But you don't have enough friends Nobody willing does. to whip their dongs out Nobody and have fun with you. With. Wow. Yeah, dude. Waltz fucking throwing hygiene is throwing occurring. soap at each other and fucking laughing about it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so licking good. each other's fucking assholes about it, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and jerking each other off fucking. and fucking coming on one poor dude's face. Oh, yeah. Ah. Good times. If I had a nickel. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'd have two nickels. It's not a lot of money, but it's strange that it mm. happened twice. Yeah, yeah, and and then we suited up today. We're, we're both in our our uh, our, our open our, our 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 podcast shirts. Yeah, you you wear yours a little lower than I wear mine. I'm realizing. I wear my my shirts fairly low. Yeah, it's all about comfort for me. Um, also, yeah. this shirt is pretty rooted out. It's missing a lot of its buttons, so it's just Dude, a probably, shirt now. Probably a lot of your clothes are not doing so well at this point, right? You've lost you've lost quite a bit of weight, and I don't think you've been shopping, huh? No, I've not been shopping. Um, most of my jeans are really baggy now. Um, I've gotten a few new shirts. I'll probably go get some new shirt, like another shirt when we go down to Gold Coast. I don't buy them very often. I like to wear them. Wear them the fuck out. Another one. Wear the fuck out of them, yeah. Yeah. Um, Because, I mean, dude, like, this is the first Hawaiian shirt I bought when I came to Australia. Oh, right. So I've been wearing it since then, you know? And, oh, dude, it's so comfy, bro. It's soft, I bet. It's it's soft as dude. The the edges are fraying like the, of the actual like seam. I'm uh-huh. starting to fray. It's so like worn out. Buttons are missing. It's nice and uh-huh. loose on the chest. Uh huh. Like just hugs the arms enough to make me look swole as fuck because I'm such a beast, uh-huh. man beast. And that just oh man, it's my fat man shirt, dude. Doesn't matter how much you eat. Doesn't matter how big your stomach gets in this shirt. It does not get any tighter. You don't get shirts like that going to no, fucking Walmart. Those are magic shirts. This is this shirt is is like basically a legendary item that you find only in yeah. like the dregs. Yeah, you got a gotta, lonely cave. Yeah, you got to find that doing a, a 
a questionable quest for a guy underneath an overpass. That's a strange side quest that you only find because you stumbled upon a post on Reddit talking about this obscure thing like oh dude and then everybody goes and tries it out and it's long arduous quest it involves a lot of cinnamon buns i imagine did, did you ever play um zombies in call of duty black ops 2 i know that was a very particular question i have played zombies on on that that one, yeah, yeah. I can't remember which one you said. It's the Black Ops Two. You it said? was the first one that they introduced zombies into, and it was like, yeah. and like I got into it like prime zombies, but the but like there was so many things you had to figure out whilst being hunted by zombies, mm. and like just a lot of luck and chaos is all that kept you going, and like maybe you had a strategy. Mm. but the game was just insane dude no. I, dude I, I missed that game i got to i got to play that game again um i've played with people that took it really seriously and like had a plan and stuff and usually it works out but without fail the plan always falls apart and usually that's because one person in the team doesn't understand what the plan is or care right <laughs> and, and so inevitably you know it always falls apart and so i wasn't invited to play very often yeah uh, it was my job to rebuild the fucking uh because like, you could because <laughs> yeah. like, the zombies would tear down uh, to get into the space then but you yeah. could you could sit there hold square and rebuild the fucking um i don't know the, the barricade the boards and yeah yeah the boards the, the boards did just fly up magically it's not like you have a fucking ka-ching, hammer ka-ching, ka-ching, yeah 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 it was my job to run yeah. around and just keep rebuilding those so that the motherfuckers mm. didn't uh didn't get in um but that ne- that plan never worked no so and that was as no. far as i got it wasn't very you're good you're better off um you're better off i i learned about this technique is you're better off letting them in early on in the game and only like letting one follow you around and then oh, using yeah. that period of time to fix everything, get it all ready to go and then kill it before the next wave starts to give you the maximum. That's time right. Yeah. Then, 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 you, then you'd have a bro, like a boy be like, bro, why'd you kill it? Like I wasn't done. <laughs> yeah. fucking put the, why'd you kill him? And I'm like, Oh, he looked at me weird. Yeah. He, he was fucking chasing me, dog. What do you want me to do? Yeah. He threatened my cat. Fuck him. Not my cat, dude. My cat's taking a nap behind me. Bro, mm. I, I already got Let's a piss. Go so go piss let me, me excuse myself real quick. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Dude, Tell I could what you will do. I Take could hear me out with you. I could hear my neighbors playing playing music while I was taking a piss. But um today I learned that the Indian couple that lives next to me yeah. I think they're moving out, dude. But mm. we've heard them argue. Like someone's moving out. Like knock, like knock down, drag out, argue. It's the point where you're like, you're like, how long does this have to go on for before you call the police? You um, just stay out of it unless you hear someone screaming in pain. Well, that that was that was what, like, we heard some shit that was suspicious because, like, it, it was either just someone that's like that was hysterically upset or like yeah. actively being murdered. I went with hysterically upset, but it was literally like, oh, oh, and then just yelling. Yeah. I think you'll know, like, actual like domestic actual violence. Yeah, domestic when you hear it. Domestic violence. When yeah. You hear it. yeah. I yeah. agree. There's a, there's a stark difference, because I've heard both. Um, you know, the culture here is, is just to ignore it. Like... Um, but you know, people call the cops for everything here. Really, everything. There's like this weird. There's this weird culture where you just are supposed to ignore things and stay out of it and stuff. But then also, 
for everything else it's like oh yeah like like people will call the cops about um bins people will call the cops about uh people having their dogs out without a leash or their cat um does has your has your cat had the cops called on it not ours no she stays in the back she doesn't go out front but there are places where people will call the cops for you having your cat outside at all because you're not supposed to you're not supposed to let your cats outside Huh. I think you can. I think you can um, to use the toilet, but there's uh, if they get caught out, um, caught outside on the street, then they'll just take them to the pound or whatever you want to call it, the kennels, the kill shelter. Well, because they they decimate native populations of birds. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like and cats hear, way more than I like birds, so I'm cool with it. Hey, like same these dude, but you know the the number of stray cats here, they're just like I mean they're making these pot like these birds go extinct. Like cats fuck are relentless and they fuck a lot. Yeah, fuck dude. Well, they're I mean, the prime there's an argument they're the that. superior predator, dude. Like I don't know what you want. <laughs> uh I think I think the point is like the main point behind it is that the they, cats weren't supposed to be here, right? We we brought cats over here. There weren't any natural cats. Where are cats native? Around here. I think there's types of cats all over the world, but there weren't any cats here. And like the modern house cat now that we've bred, because there's so many different like breeds of them, but the, like the modern house cat now is like an affront to God. If you believe in that kind of thing, like the, like the changes that have been made from nature to nurture. Yeah. He's adorable. I see that. I love him <laughs> to death. Like an uncle Torn, dude. Gray. But listen, Gray. he look at him. He's actively no survival me. instincts whatsoever. Yeah. How about it? Yeah. The disrespect. Yeah. Real motherfucker, dude. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so yeah, no, we're not allowed to have our cats outside. Oh, that's odd, dude. But Maybe honestly, sweet. honestly, I would, I would love if there was a place. You know what? Like I could make this place my apartment. Now that I think about it. Mm. But if there was a place that you had like a bunch of shit everywhere, like a bunch of like cat trees and fucking cargo nets and different kinds of shit in this mm. like contained room. And you can just bring your cat and let it in there. And then you also just release a canary in the room as well. Mm. And it was like, just just the fucking happiness on this cat's face when it's like, oh, fuck. I can, like, bring your house cat, you know, that's never really fucking seen a, a real, I mean, like, it's seen birds from afar and you go, fuck, I want that mm. fucking bird. But you could oh, bring your cat to this place, and it's just like a jungle gym of fucking shit to climb on and jump to. And then you just let this bird go in the same room, and you just fucking mm. sit back. Because eventually, that cat's going to get that bird. Mm. Unless that cat's old and fat or whatever. If it's Garfield, he's probably not going to get that bird. But, like if, but something's going to unlock in your cat's fucking head to be like, oh, mm. shit. It's fucking bird killing time. And, yeah. And you're going to yeah. see your cat be the happiest fucking cat you've ever witnessed. Right. That'd be fucking sick. Be like a, like a instinct revival camp for your cat. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. What happens when you start having birds that outrun the cats? Like I breed. A generation yeah, of birds like, you, just... like you like yeah yeah you take the strong ones that survive you breed them with some other types of birds and you create like this athletic anti-cat bird right and you've got different levels and you see what cats can get up climb the levels uh -huh. of the highest birds and then eventually and we just, we just like have these... You know, like we have like a champion on champion fight, you know, get a, get a, yeah. get a circle going of Mexicans throwing money 
into a yes, ring dude yeah yeah and then and then the, oh, I, I have like one of those like po- like green visor poker hats on and i'm like f- marking down numbers Cigarette hanging out of your mouth yeah yes bro and then you just create you you just have this it's just like a step system isn't it of like bird cat bird cat Right, and then I'd also breed the strongest cats, by the way. Yeah, exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to, you want to create like a fucking fighter cat, you know, like the best cat for hunting this bird, and then the bird comes up with another fucking, you know what I mean? The problem is, the problem is, at some point, if if I made a badass bird, Mm. it's it's just gonna be a badass bird, you know, do bird shit, you know, maybe poop on, maybe poop on me every once in a while when it's feeling disrespectful but if you make a fucking badass house cat he's gonna start sizing you up seem like you know what this bird is this bird's bullshit man i think i can take yours fucking slow ass (laughs) yeah dude and then and then you have a ninja cat that's just bred to murder yeah then all of a sudden you're the fucking canary in the in the jungle gym. <laughs> the giant canary <laughs> in this massive jungle gym of life. Whoa. Dude, that's exactly the kind yeah. of shit that if 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 I put Gray through that training, this motherfucker right here, hmm. man, he would try me. I swear to like like a like every <laughs> Like every male teenager standing up to his father, he would he would go for my throat for sure if I, if I gave him the mm. tools to do so. Like you put Gray through the Captain America serum stuff, and he yeah. gets like super cat. He'd go yeah. Straight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. There is a very healthy power dynamic in the household, and it is to be respected at all times for the for the beauty of everyone. Right, yeah. So yeah. you gotta keep those you gotta set those boundaries. Right. It's really important in life to set those kinds of boundaries with the people of your household, even the an especially the animals. Did you ever watch did you ever watch that cat show with that dude that the cat whisperer? Did you ever watch that show? And he would go and No, and, I saw Caesar like Milan and do his thing with the dogs and I was like, This is kind of bullshit. In itself, Milan. Who's that? He's a dog whisperer. On, oh, true. On Animal Planet, he's like the OG. Like that's where they started was dogs, and then eventually they had oh, all these God. other spinoffs of like cat, fucking horse, bird. Yeah, I never watched the horse ones. I think I might have seen the dog one, but I can't remember. But I've definitely seen the cat one. Because dogs, like you know, dogs are a certain like you can only like if you train a dog. A dog will be fine. I don't know how people like get these dogs that are, that are just like owning their life, dude. It's it's fucking unreal. Honestly, me, dude. now that I think about it, I would talk a lot of shit about that show if you ask me in any other context that I'm thinking about it right now. Mm-hmm. But what a hilarious concept of people that just can't control their fucking dog, <laughs> and they're just yeah. feeding it all the time, and like, hey, you're, and then like this this little Mexican right. guy would come in, Caesar Milan, <laughs> and he and like this dog would fucking bow up at him, and he'd be like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> and the dog would be like, huh. What the fuck? And then eventually it would just like, he would just like fucking hold, pin it down on its back for a bit. Oh, right. And like a little dog, not like a big fucking dog. Yeah. And, uh, and he would just be like, now I'm, now I'm the alpha in the house. And it just completely fucking cuck out this, this dude, like this husband Whoa. and father that's just. Like he's just trying to, you know, I signed up for a TLC show, and here I am, and my dog's kind of crazy, yeah. And he's getting called a cuck on fucking national Damn, television. Dude. Like he doesn't just get called; he gets cucked out on national television, yeah, in front of the cameras. Fucking his wife's just like, yeah. Caesar Milan is holding down a, is Milan, holding down what a man. His, the, like the dog in one hand, and he's holding your wife's head. Yeah fucking going to town <laughs> on his johnson and the other that's what the show was man i'm telling you, it was wild wow. it was a wild show 
That's crazy, dude. Uh huh. When you think about it in that context, that's fucking wild, bro. <laughs> yeah, you can't can't control your own household, motherfucker. God damn. Not soft. Not my house, dude. So soft. In my house, uh, there is a clear dynamic established <laughs> of who's the strongest <laughs> around here. Yeah. It goes. That it goes. Me, Gray, Janie, Mac. That's the order. How oh, you, Gray, Janie, Mac? <laughs> 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 oh, because no, Gray, Gray would fuck up Janie for sure. Mm. Also, because she doesn't want to hurt her baby, dude. She loves that cat. She wouldn't want to hurt its feelings, hurt its little paws, even though it fucks her up. I love that cat too, but. I would I would punt him yeah. across the room <laughs> if he tried my gangster, you know. I think I might have asked you this before, but would you run into a burning building to save either of your cats? For sure. Yeah. One hundred percent, dude. Hmm. There's yeah, like I'm I'm soul bonded at this point. <laughs> if there is such cat a thing, dad. you know, I, I'm, cat dad. dude, I, I'm full cat dad. Like I would like if there was a chance that they were still alive inside, mm. which there's going to be because you never know what fucking cats are going to do in the middle of fire. Um, yeah, no, you got you got to run back in to save those cats. And then like if I died running back into a house to save my cats, that's a noble death if I've ever heard one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, fairly noble, I reckon, yeah. To save my children? I mean, I'm literally going af after, like, these these things that I've raised and nurtured and fed mm. and defended from, from outside forces, disease, and themselves. Mm. There's a lot of investment goes into cats. Or any animal for that. Yeah, a lot of love, dude. They, like they come oh, snuggle on my leg as I as I wake up in the morning, and I'm like ho trying to hold in a piss as I waddle to the bathroom, you know. And they're <laughs> they're fucking rubbing my oh, hello, rubbing my shit. Dad. They're they're, they're like getting dad. piss actively splashed back in their face, and they're just like, "I love you so much. It's okay." <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you telling me you piss on your cat's heads in the <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Fuck I don't know, man man like Too low, bro. Dude, like I didn't realize how much piss could spray it out. And mm. I was at work the other day and I like went to um the urinal, take a leak, take a leaksies, and yeah. Like just took a piss like I normally would in the pissed right in the urinal like a good boy, dude. Look down and like my shoes are like covered in like droplets, droplets oh. of piss. And I'm like, well, I hate the urinal. It, like it's like if you don't hit the right spot in the urinal, yeah. it ricochets it something out. crazy. Yeah. That's what happened. Uh, and then my then I had fucking piss shoes, and then I had to walk back into the office. Like and then they're like, don't everybody look at my face. My my eyes are up here. Don't look at my piss shoes. But people noticed, you know. Yeah. People notice that of kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then it's not the droplets that get him; it's the smell that does. Yeah, you know. Before you know it, dude. Do you remember the? Do you remember the urinals here? The big full trough, metal trough. I mean, I was in boot camp. Is that, that's what you're talking about. No, I'm talking about the urinals here in Australia at all the bars. Are they all metal the troughs? Single metal yeah, troughs? It's, yeah, it's just like one. It's like a wall, not even a trough. It's like a wall of urinal. And it's just metal all across. And you've got a grate that you stand on. And you just all piss into this wall of, of, oh, of troughs. That's way better. It is awesome. It is so think about good. think about but, cleaning that too. Like you can clean that. Well, cleaning it's easy, dude. You just spray it down with a hose, done and dusted. Bro, it's everything's so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a fucking brush on a broomstick if you yeah, if you're yeah. feeling really randy about it. Oh, but like yeah, it's dude. so much harder to clean like a single like urinal? a porcelain single urinal. Yeah, yeah I mean, I I guess you could take a hose to it, but still, nowhere near the efficiency of a stainless steel trough. 
No, no, not even close. And I, I it kind of, it's weird. It's a, I reckon they should have them everywhere and I don't understand why they don't. Like, you know, cause there's, there's no more privacy with having a bunch of single porcelain urinals next to each other with, unless you have the walls separating each one. Uh huh. But think of how much space you would save, how much efficiency you would have with guys just coming in, finding a spot, taking a piss, and getting the fuck what, out of there. What did you have in boot camp for a pisser? I think it was just it was just the toilets, and they were what they had. They, they didn't have doors. It was toilets, and but that was how had, you peed. Um, I think so. Did they have urinals? I can't remember if they had urinals or not. Bro, they had stainless steel metal troughs that, like, lined the whole, like, did fucking polygons around the walls, dude. Whoa. In, in, so- in South Carolina. And you went on the West Coast, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, in, in Paris Island, they had, like, stainless steel troughs like you're talking about. And we, we, but we still had 90 dudes trying to take a piss all at the same time. With a yeah. countdown going, and <laughs> um, yeah, so there, yeah. there, you'd be, you'd just be shoving your wiener through fucking cracks and dudes, just trying to find, just trying to get access to, to the trough, dude. Like it, and it was piled on top, and like you got it because sometimes you were the dude in the back, and if you were the dude in the front, you were like trying to think skinny thoughts, <laughs> and like fucking hydro piss, yeah. Because you don't want to get pissed on. Either. Well, like, yeah, you want to avoid getting like, pissed on, which you definitely are. Yeah. Let's get that fucking yeah. out there. Oh, yeah. Like the yeah, droplet like, conversation droplets. for the shoes and the yeah, cat. Multiply that by 90 cunts. Yeah, a lot mm-hmm. of yeah. 90 cunts is a little bit confusing. Uh, 90 penises for sure. Oh, sorry. Yeah, N- 90 dicks. Yeah, sorry. I, I met cunts as in people. Sorry. I, I know. Yeah, uh, I just want to make sure that's clear for our lame. American audience. Yeah, sorry guys, my twenty percent Australian came out for a second there. If I was getting pissed on by ninety chicks, now we're having a good time. Hey, that's that's not a bad. Time. Hey, <laughs> and I reckon they should have that in all the bars, uh, <laughs> bar bathrooms as well. <laughs> you just opt to take a golden shower. You take, you get rent a locker. Ninety. Put all your clothes in. They give you a. They give you some budgie smugglers. You walk through like a a, a ninety. What's a bungee shower. smuggler? Budgie smuggler. Yeah. Oh, a dude, it's budgie? Just a bikini bottom, yeah. Just like a man's speedo. Okay. They call it but so a budgie is a type of bird. A budgie is like a tiny little. This like, is your twenty percent showing again. That's a, that's a bird, and so they call them budgie smugglers because when you wear them, it looks like you got a bird in your pants. Wow, I'm shocked yeah. you expected me to understand that without know, context. <laughs> That's sorry. So American friend, sorry again. That was my twenty percent Australian coming out. Uh, stupid. I know. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm 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 here with you, Mike. And so I put on my budgie smuggler. Yeah, you put on your budgie smugglers. You enter into a um, what is that? What is that called? Like a, a rain room. Going to a room. No, a room before the room. It's the like foyer. A, foyer yeah you enter a foyer that's all it's like floor to ceiling carpet right okay everything is carpet inside and it's got some suede um some like really nice suede and you're only satin, wearing satin couches and you're only wearing, you're a, just wearing a bungee a budgie a budgie smuggler, budgie a budgie smuggler. smuggler. okay you're only wearing a, a fucking speedo all right maybe they give you like goggles too you know like the suntan goggles or something oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whatever hold on is, is there and other then, is there other dudes in the foyer that are also yes, wearing absolutely. bungee yeah. budgie smugglers. Yeah, you're all wearing you're all wearing budgie smugglers, and you're all standing around with your fucking goggles on your head, waiting in exp- you know anticipation. And how's the um, small talk? Like satin. Oh, it's good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There's like a mini bar. There's a mini bar that's well. run by um, a dude named Sven, and what he does is he just makes like a like a couple like a scotch, or he give you a fucking uh, a tequila or a whiskey, whatever it is you want. If there's it's not nice, you know, real classy, even cigars, you know. If there's a bar, I assume there has to be a bathroom. Well, that's the beauty of it. All right. <laughs> See, so the actual event that is culminating with the gathering of these men, these bros, have if you know, if you will, yeah, the boys. 
is once the number of people that have rented this space or this time slot for the night, right? They all arrive and they all get their forms and they fill out their forms and, you know, whatever, do all that, all the paperwork stuff. Because big insurance, you know. Yeah, like yeah, you're going to want to capitalize on and so the risk. What Exactly. You want to make sure that everything, all your, you know, T's are crossed, your I's are dotted, sure. and fucking dicks are sucked, all right? And so you have everybody, all your men line up. They can take their drinks if they want, but it's, you know, kind of, um, you know, expected you to leave them because you don't want glass. Maybe we just use like rubber glasses. On them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Break, right? Paper, you know, good old oh, paper. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not paper. Uh, plastic would we'll be use solo cups. Yeah, we we'll use solo no cups. glass in in the rain zone, dude. Let's get no, that. No, no, no. It gets it's gonna get a bit. All right, you know. So you have them walk through to the other end of the foyer and into a room. And it's a single, it's a single wide door that's made out of black steel. And it's got a tiny little window on it, window slot that the fucking person that's running the, the thing can see in. And you have all these men come in through this door with those, like a curtain that hangs on the inside of it. Uh huh. And as they enter, right, you have like all rubber floors, but it's like, you know, grip so that like your your bare feet can like grip onto it so like once the the shower starts or maybe they make you wear those those them. like uh those like work special oh, workout river. socks you know that have like the yeah. grippies <laughs> on the bottom yeah like the yoga the yoga socks yeah yeah, yeah yeah i think i think it's like uh or, like bar socks or those hospital socks <laughs> yeah, those really yes, I think, <laughs> yes fucking yeah, leroy the at the at the bar gives you all hospital socks <laughs> as, with a, with yeah. with every glass of scotch <laughs> perfect dude <laughs> and so you go in right and then you just have like um so imagine like uh, uh you know those those mirror houses at like the local fair that you'd go to, like the maze. Uh-huh. And it's like all plastic and mirrors, right? So you have that, but it's just like these cascades of reverse, like you're underneath bleachers and you just have women, 90 women scattered amongst this like, you know, um, I don't know, it's like a like a bleacher pyramid. So they, they're all like above, sure. above you, right? And they've just got a constant supply of whatever their alcohol, their favorite alcohol is. And they're just drinking it constantly. It's just fucking. And you and the boys walk in and they just start hissing on you. They're like. All at the same time. Yeah, like a fucking siren goes off and the ladies know. Oh, and they're like, they got to piss bad too. They've been holding it for a while. Yeah, they yeah, they know the moments coming, and then the, like there's a director yeah. upstairs that's just like, "All right, ladies, hold it a little bit." They're just like, "I really gotta go." And you're like, "Hold it a little." We they're, gotta get everybody synced up. Ass, they're dragging ass outside, but we're they're just told it. It's gonna be good. We promise. It's, it's gonna be okay. They're, they're putting on their yeah. hospital socks right now. <laughs> just give it we were, a few we more ran seconds. All right, we ran out of eights. We're looking for some. Hold eight it, eights. hold, ladies. And then the and door then it's just opens, like, um, yeah. Like on Gladiator, dude. And he's like, hold, unleash hell. <laughs> and then they fucking just start pissing, bro. All these fucking fat dudes in the circle underneath this pyramid of ass just getting pissed on, yeah. bro. And then like a laser light show starts. And Whoa. And it's bouncing off of the glass. The and mirrors, the plastic, yeah. Dude. And it's just like a fucking, it's like that, um, that rave in Blade. Where all the the vampires are dancing to EDM, uh -huh. and they're like fucking, they're like eating it people. And it starts raining blood, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It starts raining blood. It's that, but piss and light show. That's exactly what I'm imagining. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so another question for you, and I I okay. also got to piss. So you think Again, of, you yeah. think of the answer to this while I'm I'm working on okay. I'm working on something. Um, okay. How much do you think the emission is? Think about the overhead. Think about the you know you gotta mm. you gotta pay these women's bar tab. You gotta you gotta pay them something for their time. Yeah. You gotta yeah. you gotta pay the cleaning crew to scrub these rubber walls. Um, you gotta pay Leroy mm. at the bar. You got you got oh, yeah. you got lighting and plumbing and water. You, you gotta pay for all that stuff. So insurance, and insurance, not it's cheap, fair, but, not cheap, yeah, dude. Yeah. So oh, think about that. Yeah. Okay. And I'll be right yeah, back. I'm going to write some numbers down, dude. I'm going to write some numbers down.
Okay, so I think it depends. So it's, it's going to depend largely on what kind of... T- I think you have to set up tier system for that, right? Oh. I, re- I reckon you have to set up a tier system, right? So the number of girls you have pissing on you at any given time... <laughs> However many people you have in your party at the time as well, plus uh, how long you want to be in the shower for, right? Because you're going to have to have, like, a refueling of the girls. I'm I'm picturing, like, the lowest tier (laughs) is just one chick trying to, like, follow you around while, like, like, Pooh Bear in it and taking a piss. She, but she's like running. She's like, like you're zigzagging. She's zigzagging on top of the grate. You yeah, know, you're just a, what a cunt. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, that dude is not allowed back in into the piss shop. Yeah, you're not allowed to Every zigzag day. if you're fucking on the no. lowest tier. Let's get that started yeah, no. for one. <laughs> what a cock, dude. There would be though. You're right. Um. <laughs> All right, so I reckon I reckon if you have tiers, you're gonna your lowest tier is gonna be like have to be like a minimum of five people attending, right? So you and so five of your friends, have, you you and four of your friends, right, is oh, minimum, yes. Right? That's if you have if you have, you have five, six, like five to eight would be like your your first tier, right? And so that would be you would have a number of girls depending on how many people you have. Do so people have barely years. have that many friends that they're willing to get pissed on with? Yeah, right. You got to find some people, dude. Otherwise, you're not getting it done, right? So you've got five five dudes, ten girls. Like minimum of two girls to a dude, right? Does that make sense? Because you want to be able to to. But see, then that's the thing is like the higher tier you go, the more girls you have per person, right? But the more expensive it gets, and it becomes a very um. Dude, you're you're you're, you're trying to line. scale this for the everyday bro. That's that's not our market, man. No, no, it's it's going to be a very like a very uh, affluent place full of rich cunts. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. So we don't need tears. Actors. We don't need tears. Yeah, you need, you need if there's tears. affluent you need tears. people around, we need we need a flat rate. I need I need a no, number no, 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 that no, I can. No, no. Hey, hey, do you want to walk through a hundred women pissing on you simultaneously? What by yourself? By yourself. Give me a flat rate. Okay. Flat rate. Oh, dude, I reckon that guy's got to pay at least twenty grand. Twenty grand, I say. Twenty, 20 grand. grand, man. Uh, twenty. Wow. Grand. That, that okay. To me, chicks, to me, that's a hundred chicks. That's high end, dude. Okay, uh, so oh, oh, that's the kind of service we're gonna get. Okay, so you know, what about grand, you get the what about um, so like just you, like you don't know anybody else. But you show up in the scenario that we started with of like just a bunch of a bunch of men who show up single, may, maybe have a buddy. Um, but like you don't get to go through the experience solo or just with a friend. You have to right. you have to go through in like a group of 10 dudes all together. Right. So there's a there's a group of 10 dudes and you're just doing like your basic package where you come in, you get put with a group of random people that also like getting pissed on and you get to walk through a hundred chicks that are all pissing simultaneously. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess is like when you, you, if you book early enough, you could reserve a time for you and 10 of your friends or nine of your friends to go through all at the same time. So, um, but still either way, what, what is the price for that? Well, I reckon if you're, you're booking for 10, you'd probably get like a group rate. So probably like, don't eight grand don't a person. give me a eight group a person, rate, dude. dude. Eight grand, eight grand, eight, eight grand a person. Yeah, what kind of fu- dude? The the turnaround is every like every I've thirty got minutes. Hundred girls. I've got a hundred girls that are pissing constantly to take care of. That's a lot of girls, dude. If you want to, if you want to be able to afford that, you're going to have to charge okay. premium prices. For you're this, right, dude. dude. You okay? I mean, think okay. about it. if you if you talk to if you talk to an escort. Not that I have. So this is just information that I'm pulling out of the the ether. But if you talk to a fucking escort, you ask them how much they charge to piss on a dude. Yeah, but hundreds, that's hundreds of dollars. But that's like thousands. Even. I don't know. That's different, dude. That that's your. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're we're giving we're giving an experience where you get an opportunity to be pissed on by a hundred. I feel like your price gouging is what I'm saying. Is like I I th- price gouging. I think you're price gouging these guys. 
price gouges in these guys. Dude, there is not there is not another place in the world where you can have this kind of service. I don't know, dude. I feel like you're you're really you're really pricing out the you know, like the like the Joe Schmoes that that want to get pissed on at that point. I think if it was a thousand dollars a ticket, one thousand mm. dollars per ticket. You'd have, to put, you'd have to put twenty people in a room at once, though, at any given time. That's fine. But what I'm saying is the market is too small. Like, there's not a, a huge market of dudes that like getting pissed on. I think you're severely underestimating the market of dudes that like to get pissed you on. You reckon if we opened a place, we'd be able to get twenty people in? what say like four sessions a day uh so 80 80 people 80 grand a day you reckon we'd be i reckon i reckon yeah dude we we could make it Mm. you know like 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 we make it into like a like a health thing you know like embrace embrace your your inner being your inner kinks like hey like this is a this is a way to get re-energized mid-afternoon um like swing in swing in on your lunch break you know instead of going to the gym you go to the, the piss house maybe you go to, maybe you jump through the piss house have a cocktail yeah. fucking head to the piss house yeah. you know and then you also on the way out you get a nice shower with the boys yeah four yeah, heads true. to every one dude yeah. get a nice shower with the boys and, and like you're not super comfortable at first but you you've been to this rodeo a few times now Mm. by the end of it you've developed friendship you know maybe in the piss house with some of these gentlemen that you're sharing a drink getting pissed on and then showering off Mm. with you know or maybe you just skip the shower all together and you just you just maybe you all just rock out there's a fan room that the you can Mm. you can go into and then you just you dry off really quick but the piss just like solidifies on your skin Dude, I like the idea of a dry a dry room. room. So we have we have a we have a yeah. we have a wet room and we have a dry room. You your choice, dude. Yeah. Come through, wow. get fucking either one, put back on your business clothes and off to your off to your high rise to go finish your day. Yeah, dude. That sounds fucking nice. Yeah, yeah. That's a great I like the idea of a dry room, dude. You gotta have a wacky wavy inflatable arm man in there though. Yeah. Just so they can As you see would. the the efficacy. As you would. Fans and to be honest, them. dude, it's not a sexual thing. No. No. These are no. just men. It's, it's a wellness. It's a. This wellness is a wellness thing. zone for men. Yeah. And women, honestly, and and like, like, it doesn't really matter what you look like at the top there, women. We just need you for your piss, um, and we treat you well. Like you have servers that come over. We just ask. Yeah. That you hold your piss to the appropriate moment. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're not feeling pissy today, that's fine. Uh, well, Come that's kind of a problem. problem. Come back later. Come back if later. If you don't piss, you don't get paid. That's them's the breaks. Ooh. That's the whole purpose of them being there. Yeah, like you gotta a, you gotta piss to get paid, ladies. Um You'd have to find enough women to to be able to do that like uh, i reckon you could design a really nice chair though something that's comfortable but also the piss just falls out through the bottom you know and like so they don't have to sit there and squat the whole time you know what i mean you definitely or do you reckon we make them squat (sighs) yeah you're right dude how to make the piss bleachers comfortable Mm. is a conundrum um, cause like, cause like I'm thinking just as much luxury is going on underneath. Mm. Like, Hey, maybe there's a bit of luxury up top, you know, like we don't, I want them to have we don't forget luxury. I don't want them to f- no, about the life blood, like they're... the life piss of yeah. our, of our business. Can't have a piss house without piss, baby. No, and we got to take care of ours ones that are bringing that magic. It's wrong. Got a lot of turnover in the piss house though. I, you know, over time, we it took it took us time to to cultivate this this crop of women uh, mm. that that you know enjoy coming in four times a day in some cases, yeah. um, while being fed drinks mm. to piss on men. But by golly, over time, we have a nice we have a, we have a nice staff. 
Mm. A staff that cares about each other. A family. Some would say a family. Some would say a family. We're not just doing pizza parties to show our appreciation. No, sir. No, no, no. We're doing pizza parties and ice cream nights. Mm-hmm. And then we're giving you yeah, a fat bonus every year as well. You know? If you make it to a hundred pisses, no bonus. If you make it, if you make it to a hundred pisses, okay. dude, I reckon you got to give that woman some. Okay, at a hundred, at company, 100 times, dude, we're pisses, gonna get you a watch or something. Yeah, dude. One hundred pitches, we'll we'll get you a watch, so you know what fucking time it is. And just every <laughs> there's like, it's like every yeah hours, yeah yeah, like, yeah you know like, you know like the twelve, the three, the six, <laughs> and the nine that are like typically big. It just says piss. Yeah. <laughs> not every one of them. Piss. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, <God>. Wow. <laughs> that was. Um, I reckon you know that's uh, something I love to do is is just come up with a business idea. And you know, to be honest with you, that is that's a viable business. If you could skirt around the, um, like the, whatever laws that you're having to skirt around to do that, you know, like you'd have to have some mad insurance and like, but you're right. There probably is a fucking market for that and you could do it. You could, you could make that business. Anybody listening, you take that idea. That's all yours. Go ahead. Go crazy with it. You know, but I mean, I don't know, dude. I think, I think we're the only ones that would do it right. You know? Well, like we would, we would there. ensure that the piss is fresh from the tap that's hitting your face right. as yeah, you yeah. is it, it's, it's beaming down on you, getting stuck in your hair and hitting your face. And as you like, like a snowflake, you're trying to catch it on your tongue. Mm. We'd make sure that piss is fresh. I think if we left this up to, to corporate America, like they're gonna, you know, like they're gonna, they're gonna capture piss over time and like put it through a strainer. Yeah. You know, like like warm it up. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a warm like, like, and then at some point you're gonna learn that it's not even 100 percent female piss. They're gonna do some tests, and it's gonna be like, oh, there's like, there's traces of male piss in here. Yeah, traces of goat piss in there as well. Yeah, it's just it's just piss from, and you're you know you feel lied to. Yeah, you know you've been disgraced. Yeah, you've been pissed on by, fuck knows. A little bit of a dude, a little bit of a guy. Not in our it's establishment. Like, that's no. We no. treat you with respect. When, when, you come, when when you come to our piss house, you you're coming for an experience, and we will give you that experience <laughs> every time. That's just what we do. We give the experience. We are the experience. <laughs> Mike and Jonah's piss house. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this, dude? This sounds like not a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, I know. And you know what? It it worked really well in Denver. I think you know after talking with um fucking Boris, I think there's a market for it there as well. Like, yeah, no, you're right about that. Easy peasy, bro. <laughs> I think we would we be targeted by um religious groups, probably, and that's okay because every uh, even bad press is good press you know no we we target them first dude <laughs> yeah we we send them like um like a, fr- a buy one, one get one note cards yeah, yeah like coupons <laughs> <laughs> to their elders like hey oh. buy one get one free boys hey, hey why don't you things. just leave the Micah and joe at piss house be you know like hey we <laughs> like they like they start preaching like real like bygones be bygones type shit yeah I like, yeah, because we're just giving them some, some kickbacks on the piss house. I don't know about kickbacks on the piss house. We'll get you a coupon every now and then, <laughs> Father. <laughs> yes, Father. <laughs> thank you for your support. <laughs> well, dude, what if like, what if the the piss house evolves and it becomes like a like a kink house? Oh, I thought you were gonna say a shit no, house. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a kink. In the... <laughs> oh fuck! You probably could do too. It I don't know, like man. A, I think I think we should stay with like... what we know best, man. We know piss. <laughs> piss. We're fucking piss connoisseurs. 
Yeah. We're, we're the maybe king. Maybe we invest in somebody else organizing their own shit house. You know, like, hey, you know, we'll invest as our company. We'll invest in your shit house and for, you know, 15%. How does 15% of profit? How does the shit house work? I don't know. That's not our problem. That's his problem. He's invest. He's figuring it out. We're just investing in it. Like, is it just like, but if is it just came... like logs are dropping from the ceiling and dudes are like <laughs> running underneath them? I reckon, um, so I reckon you have like a similar pyramid, like adventure <laughs> system. All right. right. You have a bunch of women sitting. Yeah, you have my attention. All right. But obviously instead of piss and shit, all right, we've established mm-hmm. that. And so you'd have like an, it'd be like a normal toilet set up, you know, all clear. So you can see like, you know everything but you know like it's yeah the shit coming down but then we have some like hyper quiet blades like you get in the fucking like um you know like your your sink your your garbage disposal (laughs) on a sink but they're super quiet and what they do is they're all whirring all the time and then as you shit (laughs) the women shit down into it it desiccates it into like a like a pasty just bunt mess right and it just then it hyper like spins like in a, a cyclone like head that's designed for semi viscous materials like shit, and then okay. it just sprinkles it like it's like a sprinkler shooting play doh. In a so fucking, like there is like in water the infusion at at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. They make it. It's not it's not a liquid, but it's not completely solid. Right. So you get the full effect right, of right, the right, shit right. spraying around the room. Yeah. You know, at Mike and Jonah's piss house. I think we already have a lot of the ecosystem in place already mm. to adapt such such an establishment. Mm. But I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm ready to pull the trigger, man. It sounds like a risky investment. Well, you're right. You know, and that's something you got to get. In, you got to get numbers for, man. You got to sit down. Mm-hmm. You got to. You got to figure out cost versus. You got to send out surveys to out. our to our piss house surveys. members to see yeah. if that's something they'd be. Hey, interested would you be in. interested in a shit house? <laughs> would you be interested in the the next step of your masculinity? I mean, if they're already and at the piss house by a beautiful woman, if they if they got their gold their gold like member jacket, you know their their oh, gold yeah, shower jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they've they made it. 150, 155 pisses. Yeah. yeah, 155 pisses. You get your golden shower member jacket. I feel like you're like, you're bored with what we're offering at that yeah. point. You're like, yeah, yeah, I get it. You walk on, you get a little piss. Sure, you feel yeah. a bit rejuvenated. You go to the, you know, and then like you always washed off for the first, like, like 20 mm. like you always went to the wet room for the first 20 pisses that your time's through yeah. but then oh shit bump the mic but then you went to the dry room for the rest of them and they, even yeah. the dry room isn't really doing it for you anymore like like yeah it's good for you it's good for the skin um people you have a questionable smell to you that people can't quite place in your day to day but the thrill is not really there anymore yeah. Until one day you see uh, another option at the bottom of the menu. Hey. And it doesn't even have a name. It's just Piss Room Plus. And the plus sign is brown. Oh. I'm like, huh, I wonder what the plus is. And then you go through. And it's just like a normal day, you know, like a normal piss room. You're going in and you're just, yeah, it's piss. And all of a sudden... You see something. Maybe we mix the piss and the shit together. You know, like, like, like that's instead instead of adding water, we just we just take like a tank of piss and add it. You know, or maybe most times, most time you take a shit, you're gonna take a piss as well. So you're gonna be pissing a little bit. It's fresh, fresh piss every time. That's our that's our motto. It's always fresh. Yeah, always, always fresh from the tap. What if you? What if you had a, uh, two different devices, one that's taking the piss and one that's taking the shit, right? Oops. Devices. And yeah, 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 so so like when you're taking the piss while you're shitting, right? The shit's coming down into the desiccator and mixing with the water. Mm-hmm. But then you also have the piss going down a separate tube. And those 
different inlets are attached to different outlets, right? So you're getting a fling of shit, but also you're getting a shower of piss. At the same I mean, time. I think by adding the water to the shit, you're you're diluting the experience a bit. I think you just use the piss yeah. for the element of liquid to viscous up the shit. Mm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I just I wonder if like people are going to be missing out on the piss bit because it's just going to be shit with piss in it. I think still missing out on like a large portion of the the piss. I think if you graduated to the shit house, you're gonna be okay about the Mm -hmm. the piss element being incorporated into the shit element. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. But how do we keep these? That'd be honestly, man. We got to pay these women more if we're gonna keep them on a strict, you know, diet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And even then, and even then, them? we can't trust these hoes, you know. They, there's gonna be some corn, what, what fucking diet, yeah, dude. There, there's gonna be corn. some not so good shits coming mm. out. Like we, we need consistency from these. Dare I say it, heifers? Mm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you're no longer family once you start working for the shit. House. <laughs> now you're a heifer. And we will pay you as such. You will be properly reimbursed, but you're worth it. Dude, heifers get paid real well. Big bucks, yeah. They get paid. I wish. I wish I could be a heifer. They drink nothing but milk, dude. (laughs) (laughs) We'll just give them milk and protein shakes all day, every day. That's it, son. Don't even have to mix God, that shit with. What piss, those bitches bro? look That's like? Just fucking... After years of working at the shit house, what do those bitches look like? I reckon, I reckon we do like fucking spin classes, bro. <laughs> While they're up there drinking protein, getting ready for their fucking for their fucking piss and shitting day, you know they're just up there fucking pumping the 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 bike, dude. The spin. Bike. I'd be up in all... the gym just to work yeah. it. Oh my goodness, he's my witness. Ooh wee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude and then we just get they're all just fucking yoked dude and then mm. we have an in for sports sponsorship right because now we have a team of cyclists bro they are just fucking bro. ready to cycle we're finally gonna get peloton on board <laughs> hey, fuck yeah dude peloton's gonna be our <laughs> our sponsor bro finally we figured it out jonah and mikeins fucking piss and shit out jonah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i can't i can't top that so um nah. i gotta piss again dude but let's go to the brooch huh? i'm running out of sunlight <laughs> all right dude hey everybody um we appreciate you guys coming out today if you guys want to hear us talk some more um go to our patreon uh, at the weasel podcast and sign up for our brooch you get an extra four episodes a month with that so you're getting double the content if you sign up for our patreon um yeah how much and how much of that was was piss and shit talk well this is free so i know no <laughs> i meant like how much of that off, whatever you know <laughs> i promise if you come to the brooch maybe we'll stop talking about it but probably not no nah, we're we're probably going to start talking about cocks. So if you're in cock talk, zip on down to the fucking porch and uh, we'll fucking catch you guys there. Okay. Woo-hoo. I love you, buddy. I love you, dude. I will catch you later. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll be okay Cause I find my way